I would like to do a follow-up on yesterday's video that I did on harp spiking and the weather that it was creating. Today is Friday, August 17th, 2012. It's 3.07 in the afternoon. This is the weather system that I talked about yesterday that was so violent as it was crossing over Kentucky and Tennessee and, and coming toward the east. I told you yesterday that they were going to stop spiking in the area behind it and that they were going to stop spiking in the area in front of it and create some moisture pockets so as to slow it down and dissipate it by the time it got over to where we are and look at what has happened. The entire front that was so violent coming across Kentucky and Tennessee and by the way the direction that it was being forced into and fought against was east southeast now that the spiking and the forcefulness of the uh, harp sonic manipulation that was going on has ceased and it has been allowed to take a more natural trajectory. You'll see the trajectory is now northeast. East, northeast. How is that possible that what was going east, southeast, once it was released by the harp sonic manipulation or aerosonic manipulation, is taking the natural course of east, northeast? You'll notice it has pretty much dissipated. There's very little weather happening on that and it's still being puffed along if you will. There's still uh, uh, moisture being gathered up and blown along. You can tell that by the little residue that is dross, chem dross, that's being left over from the puffing going on and the blowing away of the moisture. You'll notice in this area, we're not going to get anything, okay? It's going to be a lovely day, maybe a little bit of cloud cover now and again, but no violent storms because too many powerful people live in this area. Just as I said yesterday, so it is today.